Hey guys, Blake here with another video and on the weekend I found myself in Mount Waverley just off Blackburn Road to check out Hyphen Aquarium. Hyphen Aquarium was a really awesome store, it's packed to the brim with stuff, 50% salt water, 50% fresh water and anything under the sun you'd ever want. So uh, let's do a store tour today and check out what they've got to offer. Let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so you know what to look for. Uh, here's a front shot of Hyphen Aquarium, and it is really well signposted. Uh, you can see some brilliant graphics, and there's no mistaking, it is a fish store. So to get started, I'll show you all of the dry goods that they've got on offer. Obviously, heaps of fish food. A really impressive range of filters in terms of sizes and brands and lights to spare. Uh, siphons, plastic plants, everything else you'd ever want. Uh, in a fish store. Also, I'm impressed there's a few Australian brands as well in Liverpool Creek and Aquapix, as well as some of the larger, more international brands like Seachem, API, and so forth. Just piled to the brim, and I was pre pretty impressed as well that there was quite a few tanks. I think even some secondhand tanks if you're looking for a bargain. They also have heaps of aquascaping gear, hardscape, and substrate, and everything else. All sorts of great aquascaping tools and everything else that you'll need to put together a brilliant tank, whether that be hardscape, substrate, or even plants. It's quite a large uh, tank displaying all of the plants that they have for sale, and I was impressed with the range. After that, I'll show you some of the racks to give you an idea of the tank sizes and so forth. Uh, again, I was really impressed with the selection that they have on offer, and it is about 50% salt water and 50% fresh water, in including a large uh, frag tank with a whole bunch of corals in the middle. They do have a range of SPS and LPS uh, corals, which is good to see as well, and a credit to the staff for keeping them alive. In terms of the fish, we got this awesome little puffer here that I was pretty taken by, and this awesome maroon clown, or tomato clown, I think they might be called. And he was a yeah, pretty big specimen, probably she. Uh, uh, awesome copper band butterfly as well, great for eating all your aptasia, that sort of thing. Uh, nice little uh, scully as well, beautiful coloration. Goniopora that is dancing around having a good time. Uh, frog spawn coral as well, looking nice and healthy. And a bunch of different colors of hammers. Now, of course, on the camera, this is gonna not really show up the colors that well just because of all the actinic blue light, but um, you get a fair idea of how, how vibrant they are at least. Of course, you gotta have Ocellaris clownfish, and they do have certainly a bunch of those. There's also some bubble tip anatomy as well. I really liked this uh, urchin as well, a little, little spiky fella. Uh, I was pretty happy when I saw that. Torches, uh, one of my favorite corals for sure. I love torches and this, uh, I'm gonna, gonna have a punch and say Dallas, but uh, don't, don't kill me in the comments. Uh, bunch of freshwater fish now and we'll start off with some gouramis. But I really like the range here. There's all sorts of community friendly stuff. Uh, all sorts of shoaling and schooling fish. And I'd recommend beginners check out the range here because there's a lot of uh, really great options for beginners. Like for example, we've got SBI reservoirs here or lamb chop reservoirs, a great little shoaling fish, uh, which is gonna do well in a planted tank for sure. Tiger bubs, which can be a little bit more aggressive, but it's still a staple to the hobby for sure. They're a really beautiful fish. Live varies like platies and guppies, of course, sword tails and mollies as well and silver tip tetras, which I think are a really underrated tetra. Uh, really nice um, shimmeriness to them. They have skirt tetras, black skirt and uh, white skirt tetras, black widow tetras, and some of those more large uh, shoaling fish as well, if you got maybe a predation risk in the tank. The red eye tetras as well, which are gonna be a nice, really nice tight schooler. Giant danios, underrated in my opinion, and I recently got some. And yeah, pretty good range of colorful guppies, males and females separated. Uh, you can't have a freshwater fish store without neon tetras and rubby nose tetras. Uh, probably, yeah, I think you have to legally close your doors if you don't stock both of those, but luckily the uh, high fin aquarium does. Uh, as well as serpe tetras, uh, ember tetras, and a few of the other ones, maybe less so of a staple. Uh, Bolivian rams, a really fantastic alternative to the German blue ram, and some nice little Oscars as well albino and tiger. We've got a, a neon blue acara as well, uh, some West African cichlids as well, such as Crubendus, red forest jewels, all sorts of those 
uh, things. And there's even some epistones as well. Uh, there's a nice little flower horn here as well for the more adventurous types. Uh, we've got Madagascan rainbows and Bozeman eye rainbows. A couple of other rainbow fish as well from memory, which is good to see if you want sort of a school for a larger tank. Some massive goldfish. Again, the whole range of goldfish and even some Australian native options such as this Tandanus catfish. So there you go guys, that was my tour of Highfin Aquarium off Blackburn Road in Mount Waverley. I hope you liked it. I was really impressed by the range and I was yeah, warmly received as well, which is always fantastic. If you have any other fish stores that you'd like me to check out in preferably Victoria or Melbourne region, that would be great. Drop them down below. But if you've got some further out, then drop them down below and uh, I'll put them on the list for projects down in, in the future. If you did like the video, it always helps me to smash like, hit subscribe and all that fun stuff. And other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.